Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your boy, Cody, back at it again with another video. <laughs> so, um, today we are going to be doing a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. Um, if you guys seen my last video, um, I went shopping with my sister and my brother at Dollar Tree and I bought a full face of makeup. And today we're going to play around with this makeup and we're going to put it all on my face and see what products work, what products don't work. Hopefully all of this works. I have high hopes for some of these. Like this eyeshadow palette kind of looks cute. If you guys want to see me um, put on this Dollar Tree makeup, definitely uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified every single time that I upload a video. I will be uploading more because I have a schedule to upload. So yeah, let's get right on in into the so video. <laughs> I went to the Dollar Tree, I spent a little bit of money. I spent um, $14 and some change, sir. Um, yes, we have a full face. We got brow product, we have primer, foundation, blush, lip gloss, concealer, well, the whole shebang. The only thing I don't have is setting powder, which I will be using a affordable powder, which is probably going to be the Fit Me powder, which everything that I talk about will be linked either, or not linked, but like a picture right up here at the price or right up here. Um, so, yes. So, I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm gonna get right into the full face. I need to grab a mirror, though. Also, some brushes I'll be using are the, um, Morphe brushes. Some brushes I didn't get, so, um, if I don't like this foundation brush, then I got one right here. So, I got these out of, um, a display from my friend. She got them out of the Morphe display because she goes diving. And she gave them to me, so that's why they all kind of looked a little janked up. So okay, guys. So the first thing is this um, face primer from LA Colors. Sorry, it's a little bit. Can't. It won't really focus. Okay, there we go. Um, it's in the shade yellow. It's a color correcting, but it says it's a face primer and it's gonna be smoothing. So let's see how true that is. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Maybelline. Uh, um. Oh, that's cute. Look at the applicator. It's kind of cute. Oh god, there's powder coming out. Okay, so, um, I'm just gonna, I don't know, I, let me read the directions. Um, application. It creates a smoother surface by filling in fine lines and pores, plus helps crack skin concerns. Um, before applying makeup, apply a thin layer of primer all over face to prep skin. Wait, what? Is this saying that I need another primer? I don't know. I'm just gonna... It smells really good. Like it doesn't smell like when you usually you get Dollar Tree makeup. It smells like paint. I don't. It doesn't smell like paint. It smells like like perfume, kind of. I smell everything, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, it smells like paint, like perfume. All right, let's blow this out. It's got like a tacky feel to it, I guess. It's not. It feels liquidy. One of it actually feels in pores and helps with fine lines. Um, under my eyes, I have huge pores, so. Why does it look like in the camera this is giving me coverage? It has a nice sticky feel. Kinda. But it looks like, on camera, it looks like it gave me coverage. And I don't, I'm not really the biggest fan of that. However, it really did smooth out my skin. Like, I have really big pores, like right here in my nose. I'm gonna let you guys see a little bit. I have really big pores right here in my nose, and it looks smooth. And like, under my eyes, I have big pores too, and it just looks really soft. <laughs> so, and my forehead too. Like, my forehead right here in this area has really big pores, and I can't, I can only see a couple, like right up in here. But other than that, I can't really see any. Um, wow, this is actually really nice. I like this. So this is the moisturizing foundation from the brand Sassy Chic. It looks like this. It comes in four shades. It's, this says um, the shade Dark. I thought I grabbed Medium, but let's see how dark this is. Oh god, it's not really that dark. It kind of looks orangish, but 
I'm gonna swatch this a little bit. Oh! Oh! Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit too dark for me. Um, I feel like that can be borderline um, black facing. So I'm gonna go take this off really quickly. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go put on a foundation that I know that works. Um, and I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm not actually gonna put on the foundation yet because I do have a brush that I wanna show you guys. This is the foundation brush um, from the brand Sassy Chic as well. Um, it's like one of those Artiste oval brushes. Which I think is really cool. It's obviously from the Dollar Tree, so it kind of... Actually, this doesn't feel... This doesn't feel flimsy, like it's going to break. So, <clears throat> like I said, I just... This doesn't actually feel too, um... It actually feels very soft. Oh my gosh, those bristles are nice. Um, this feels very well made for a dollar. Um, usually when you get some, like, off of, like, AliExpress or Wish, and you get them for, like, six bucks and you get a whole set... This thing like tends to like be flimsy and want to break. This is actually very, very nice. So this says it's supposed to apply your foundation smoothly and evenly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my foundation to the brush. I use Hello Happy in the shade six, I believe, because I like my foundation to be a little bit darker because I used to have a tan um, and I don't really have any other lighter foundations. Okay. So far, not liking it. <laughs> um, it's kind of hard to work with, and it's making my foundation go everywhere. Um. So yeah, I'm not liking it yet. And this is kind of like an orange too. Is it the primer underneath that's making everything look orange? Because I know this foundation does not. This looks like it's orange, but it's literally like tan. That's all it is. It's tan. And this looks straight up like Donald Trump orange. Um, I'm going to try to mix a little bit of Hello Happy in the shade 3. The fact that I'm putting a lot of makeup on top of each other, first of all, is bad. But this foundation, is, or this primer, I mean, is kind of holding up like really well okay I'm just gonna be honest I don't like this brush I'm gonna stop using this and I'm gonna switch over to a Morphe um, JH3 brush um, this is more like a a dense kabuki um, blunder brush and I'm gonna mix up this foundation really quickly and because I'm technically cheating and I'm not using the brush nor am I using the Dollar Tree makeup I'm just going to um, fast forward this so you guys don't have to sit here and watch how I do my foundation because it's kind of boring. Okay, so, um, foundation is done and I know Hello Happy is a good foundation, so... Um, I knew that I was going to work on my skin. It's a nice medium to uh, light coverage, just depending on what kind of coverage you do want. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to jump into concealer. This is the um, concealer, buildable concealer in the shade beige. Um, I definitely feel like this is going to be dark on me, so I might have to mix a lighter color. But I'm going to slap this bad boy on. Obviously, it was a dollar. <clears throat> um, and I have footage of me buying everything in my last video, which I will link up here. Um, <clears throat> this is an LA Colors Concealer. What's the instructions or the application say? This says it is a creamy formula, glides on smoothly, evens the skin tone. Let's, let's hope for that. Evens out skin tone and improves skin's texture, minimizes pores and covers up brown spots, freckles and blemishes, blends in a flash to a soft natural finish that lasts all day flash to soft natural finish have you guys heard of anything like that well, I know that this is definitely gonna be darker than my foundation um I don't know if you guys can see that that's like borderline brown um so I'm still gonna put this on um but I'm gonna mix in a lighter concealer so 
it's not like horribly darker. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. I think you guys can see it better than I can. But it's not horribly darker. Mm, never mind, I lied. I could like cream contour with this. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape real quick. Pop on a couple of dots. And it looks really good. It's like blending very well. And it doesn't seem to dry down too fast either. All right, now that that's done, how I think this is looking really, really well right now, but I'm looking a little unbalanced. So I'm going to go in with, if I can find it. Um, okay, I'm gonna go in with this. This is the LA Colors Cream Contour Stick in the shade Medium. Um, this says it's great for contouring. It says, this is a play with light and shadow to sculpt and define features. <clears throat> Apply to edge of forehead and hollows of cheeks and jawbone. Blend well for best results with a lighter contour stick sold separately. <laughs> I'm over it. <coughs> um, good good branding, uh, Dollar Tree. Um, my face is actually looking really well right now. Um, I'll give you guys a little close-up. I think it's looking pretty damn well. Okay, so we all know how to cream contour. If you don't... Uh, I'll, I'll probably try to put up a video of it. So, I'm just gonna add this to the parts of my face that I would contour. Out. I didn't find any powder contour there, or like, a, yeah, like a powder contour. So I'm going to have to cheat and use a Benefit bronzer. I know, I'm cheating a lot in this video, guys. I'm sorry. This is blending out really well, you guys. I honestly feel like this is looking really, really well right now. I'm just going to um, contour the other side of my face really quickly and speed it up. Okay guys, so what I went to go do was I went to set my face and I used some airspun, the Cody Powder airspun right up here. And I also used <coughs> the Benefit um, Hula Bronzer, which will be this one right here, um, which will be also up here as well. My friends are all texting me, I'm so sorry. They're, I'm in a group chat with them and they're just texting me like crazy. Um, anywho, so blush now, which I love blush. Blush is my favorite thing in the world. Like, makeup-wise, I freaking love brush. Brush. I love blush. And I got this blush right here from LA Colors, again. Um, this is the Sweet Cheeks um, blush. Or the Velvet, Def or the, they call it the Velvet Finish blush in the shade Sweet Cheeks. Um, and it's very pinky. And usually I'm more of like an apricot person. But it, I'm going to be doing something neutral today. So, oof. I had to bust it open in a weird way. The packaging on these, I'm oh, some of these I'm like not living for, but this one right here, this is cute because it comes with a little brush. I think I can open this fucking thing. Bro, is this Cody proof? I can't open this. Okay, there we go. It comes with this little brush right here. I'm not gonna use this. I don't know if any of you guys use them. Um, I like to use a brush like this, um, something kind of domed or a stippling brush. Um, this is the JH04 brush. Um, so I'm just gonna dab into this. Oh wow, that's really pink and really pigmented too. At least what I think is. There is a lot of kick up. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it definitely comes off my brush. So I'm just going to jump right in and put this on my cheeks. What I like to do is I like to smile and then hit the apples of the cheeks and then kind of bounce it into the cheeks. This is very pink, and I'm kind of liking it, because I want to do like a sunburned kind of look. 
Oh, it's getting a little bit out of hand on screen. It looks like it's getting a little bit too much. But in person, there's really not like that much. And like you can intensify it if you want to, or you can leave it plain, which I'm going to definitely put on a little bit more. Because like I said, I'm going to do a sunburned look. So I'm going to just do this and then right on the nose. Actually looking really cute. Ooh, with the sunburn look? Yes. Okay, now moving on to highlighter. They didn't actually have like a set highlighter highlighter. So I'm stuck using this intense loose shadow um, in the shade Honeysuckle. I tried to find the <clears throat> closest one to my skin tone that I could. This one's like a little bit, um, I don't know, like a little bit more goldy, which I kind of like. Although this could be a beautiful, a beautiful highlighter. So I'm just going to dump some in the cap and kind of like that. <clears throat> I don't know. Look at this though. It's kind of like really pretty. It's actually really beautiful. Like, ooh. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to use a um, another Morphe brush, Jaclyn Hill um, 09 brush. Is it 09? Oh, yes, it's 09. Anyhow, yeah. All right, and let's go. Wow, that's pretty. <clears throat> a loose highlighter, or a loose um, shimmer as a highlighter. Kind of living for it. I almost tapped off all of that. Just want to tap off a little bit. <clears throat> kind of want to make this a little bit more intense. Whoa. Do you guys see that? Holy crap. I look like a disco ball like really really blinding okay that's that's beautiful I want to keep I might keep using this as like a highlighter so I think that like makeup that is cheaper is oh shit bitch um like I think it's so much better than like Tom Ford and Louis Vuitton and Gucci and all that jazz because like <clears throat> first of all I know you're paying for the name oh my god that is um I know you're paying for the name and everything but at the same time if I can pay like six dollars for a jumbo pencil from NYX and get like an eyeliner from Tom Ford for like 80 bucks I'm gonna go with the next one <coughs> I'm sorry guys I keep doing that <clears throat> I have like smokers lungs <laughs> um, even though I don't smoke <clears throat> it's because when I was younger the house that we used to live in had so much mold in it and we didn't even know that because that it, it was hiding in the walls um so i have been doing that like almost my whole entire life i do that a lot and especially whenever i'm around smoke and stuff it gets worse but um yeah so i'm sorry if that keeps happening a lot you're gonna hear me go <coughs> and <coughs> a lot because that's just how my throat is so i'm really sorry about that um, i'm gonna go in with the new uh this is actually new to them the new la colors define and fills a dark brown brow pencil um, I think this is really cute because it has like <clears throat> what's supposed to be known as a spoolie on there um, Like this little thing right here So this says easily fill in brows for a natural looking finish available in five different shades Okay, we like five different shades as long as it's like blonde auburn brown medium brown and black um, This says use a brow pencil to fill in sparse areas and add definition to you uh, use brush to blend color and groom brows All right so I'm just going to kind of push these down in the way that I want them to go down and then fill these bad boys in. Shabla shabla, my brow is done. 
<clears throat> I like it. I think it works pretty nice. I mean, would I go out and buy like 12 of them? Probably not. I'll stick to my Anastasia brow definers. Um, but this is a nice pencil. Okay guys, so my eyeballs are primed and <clears throat> it is time for eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using <clears throat> this little palette right here. Um, obvi again, obviously it was a dollar. Okay, this is the LA Colors of Big Bang eyeshadow palette. Um, it is very neutral toned. <clears throat> it has literally only neutrals in it. Um, it looks like this. Yeah, two nice matte shades and two shimmer shades. And they're all labeled, like numbers one, two, three, and four. If you can see that, um, right there. Try to, I don't know if you can see it. One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do them a different way, but you can do them however you want to. Sorry guys, I got my brushes right here. Um, I'm, gonna use this one too. I'm gonna use Wet n Wild brushes. You can get these two brushes from the Dollar Tree, which I, that's where I got mine from. Um, I'm gonna use the small shading brush, or the Packer brush first. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use the shade two. And I'm going to put that right in my, um, like on my eyelid. I think Wet n Wild brushes are amazing. There's nothing really bad to say about them. They're super, super nice and they feel comfortable on the eyelids. They're soft. They're vegan and cruelty free. So, which I think I should be saying, saying that a lot more. Um, some of these products are not vegan or cruelty free. Um, I believe LA Colors is, um, however, vegan and cruelty free. I will have to look it up and um, let you guys know if they are. Um, <clears throat> if not, I'll put something in here that tells you that they're not, um, but I, I like to know if things are vegan and cruelty free because I like cruelty free products. I don't believe in harming animals. I'm going to take this blending brush. I'm going to dip into the shade two. I'm going to blend out that harsh edge. This is blending really nice. I mean, it's giving me a little, it's like not blending out the best for the harsh line, but it's blending like well, if that makes sense. Like the shadow itself is blending out well, but like that harsh line just doesn't want to blend for some reason. I think this eye looks better than this eye, but that's just me. Okay, now I'm gonna take that same <clears throat> brush, I'm just gonna kinda wipe it off, and then I'm going to dip into shade one. There's a lot of kick up on these shadows, like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like shadow all over. Um, so be mindful of that. I don't care about kick up too much. I'm sorry, I'm over to the side, you guys. I'm really, really sorry. I, this is just like, I have my arm on my leg so that it's easier to blend for me. So, my bad. And I'm just gonna use this just to blend out this harsh line and make it a little bit more prettier. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, ooh, I'm going to take, um, where is that brush? That same brush that I had with the dark brown on it, I'm gonna wipe that off and, oh, I put the palette down. I'm gonna use this shade right here. I know it has shimmer in it, but I really wanna deepen up my outer V a little bit. So I'm gonna tap off some of the excess, and then I'm going to just place this just on the outer V. Like right there, and only right there. Um, now, I don't know how these shimmer shades work, but I'm gonna use my finger. They're very soft, they're very, very soft. And I'm just going to place this on this open area where you see it, and a little bit, oh wow, that's really pretty on my finger. Yeah, I think the finger is the way to go. I'm going to place this almost like doing a half cut crease. Now trying it with a dry brush. Definitely not as cute, but she's still there. Kind of 
kind of having to build it up a little bit more, but that's okay, that's okay. Before I put on the liner, I'm just gonna show you guys they do have lashes. These are the lashes. I'm gonna quickly put glue on them so that they can dry. Um, they do have their own adhesive, which I bought. So I'm gonna put that on and I'll be right back. Okay, um, before I put on the liner, I just I was putting on the glue on the lashes and I just want you guys to know that glue smells disgusting. Like it literally smells like chemicals. It smells like it's gonna burn my eye. Um, but this is the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner in the shade black. Um, it's really pigmented. I love it. I use it every day. Um, okay, wing is on. Um, but no, it, that, that glue literally smells horrible. It smells horrendous. sweating really bad right now while the lash glue is drying I'm just going to use that shade um, number two and buff it under under my lower lash line really quickly um, just so everything kind of like marinates together I'm sweating really bad right now I'm gonna turn on my air conditioner guys I'm so sorry um, if it's too loud but I'm gonna I have to turn that on really quickly because I'm fucking dying of heat sweat it's hot in my room I'm just going to use my own mascara and uh, pop on these lashes really quickly. These are what the lashes look like. Kind of cute, but like I said, still smell horrendous. These are like really cute if you just want to like wear like a false lash and or like if you're new to makeup and you don't know how to put on falsies I would say grab these because the band is very flexible and easy to put on so it's cute I like them they're dainty they're in this they were in the style diva though so I was expecting them to be a little bit more more but I'm gonna go pop on some mascara really quickly and I'll be right back so we can finish up and do lips. Okay guys, so mascara is on. Um, last thing to do is my lips and I got this beautiful glitter gloss in the shade Princess Vibes. It's for LA Colors, obviously. At this point, LA Colors just sponsor me. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do this. It's just a lip gloss. Um, it seems very, very uh, neutral. So I'm just gonna pop it right on top of my lips. Oh, wow, it's pink. It's like pink glitter. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wow. This is almost like clear, but like with a pink, um, like pink sparkle to it. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Wow. I'm like, I'm literally not lying. Like this, it smells so but It smells like cupcakes. It's kind of like a stickier gloss. Um, and you can kind of feel the glitter specks in there a little bit. Not the best thing in the world. Like, not to feel, but um... It's very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything. It kind of feels like it's like a pump, a plumping gloss. I like it. It's really pretty. I'm going to go pop on some faux freckles really quickly, you guys, and I'll be right back with the finished look. Okay, guys, and this is the completed look. Thank you guys 
so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell notification so you guys get notified every single time that I upload a video. I can't thank you guys enough for honestly watching my video if you guys did. You guys mean the world to me and thank you so much. Nothing that I do would be possible without you guys, so thank you guys so much. Um, I know I'm not the biggest person here on YouTube, but hey, I gotta start from somewhere. So thank you guys again in advance. You guys are the light of my life and I love you guys so much. Um, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, which will either be linked right here or at the end of the video. Um, and again, just thank you guys so much. Um, if you guys want to see my next video, I will be doing a get ready with me and talking about why I've been gone for so long. Um, so stay tuned for that if you'd like. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye!